Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today we are at the Magic Kingdom theme park. And right now it's uh, about lunchtime, so we are eating at Casey's Corner, which is a hot dog restaurant. And at this hot dog restaurant, we found some ducks and an ibis who are smartly waiting for people to give them french fries. And with the kit lens, the 18 to 150 on the R7, I made some photographs of them. And I also made a video of the live piano player, which is one of my favorite things about this restaurant. So let's check that out. The video clip was made with the R7 and the kit lens as well. you go to a nature preserve some sort of a wetlands and you get really excited when you see a white ibis get relatively close and then you come to magic kingdom and the damn thing comes right up to your table where you're trying to eat and here is a super close-up of just the head of this mallard hen who came right up to me and the sun caught her head in just such a way that had the background all dark and her head bright that i thought looked really cool over in tomorrowland i made another photograph of the stitch 50th anniversary statue. I made a photograph of this last year. This time I used the ultra wide with a straight on look and I really like the way it turned out. Now look at this tripod rig I've got going on here. Oh well, it kind of works. I have the kit lens on, the 18 to 150 kit lens on the R7. And I framed up a shot of this beautiful uh, water wheel across the waterway here. That's on Tom Sawyer Island. And here's an interesting fact or a boring fact. I've been to Magic Kingdom here at Walt Disney World countless times. I don't even know how many, probably in the 20s or more. I've never been to Tom Sawyer Island. Uh, but anyway, I made a shot of that. And I think I'm going to... Uh, to look and see if I can find another angle that has better sunlight on it. I thought this was just a beautiful scene that was begging to be photographed. I would have liked to have put a neutral density filter on to slick the water in the lake, but that would have mushed up the water on the water wheel and I didn't want to do that. It is two hours and five minutes until the fireworks start, but Heather and I have our center shot staked out for the fireworks. I'm still going to have to tilt my camera up a little bit this year. I'm at uh, 10 millimeters, which is 16 millimeters full frame equivalent. So I'm going to have some crooked lines on my castle building, which is unfortunate. Next year, I need to come with an ultra wide on full frame, an ultra, ultra wide, like 14 or 12 millimeters. But uh, anyway, still should be able to get some cool fireworks shots tonight. Okay, now it's about 45 minutes until showtime and I am set up. I've got this tiny collapsible tripod that's legal to bring into the parks because it fits into a small camera bag, inside a small camera bag. I've got it set up. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not level. If I had a much wider lens, I might be able to get level, but I need to angle up for this. Uh, I'm F11, ISO 100. I've got the got the 10 stop neutral density filter on there they're about to compress the crowd but i'm as far up as i can go because heather is blocking me from going any further so that's perfect and i am ready to rock and roll 45 minutes to go i'm going to do uh, either bold mode or 30 second shots i haven't decided i'll i'll figure that out soon I constantly worry about getting moved out of my position by the all the way down guy, but so far we're on the spot. It's a constant battle to not get moved. I am now being lit by a cell phone light. 
The fireworks show went well. Take a look at these shots. I think you'll like them. Here are the Magic Kingdom fireworks from directly in the center with the Walt and Mickey statue silhouetted in front of us. I really love to shoot from this particular position. And once again, I'm shooting at F11 with a three-stop neutral density filter. This, for the most part, keeps the fireworks from overexposing. Sometimes in grand finale situations, the fireworks will even overexpose with a three-stop neutral density filter on. But during the non-grand finale parts, you don't want to be uh, underexposing the fireworks either. So I kind of have a happy medium and shoot at F11. Although at the grand finale, I could probably have stopped down to F13, uh, 14, 15, something like that. Loved shooting these fireworks. It's a wonderful show. It's a pain to get a good position. Here you can see the grand finale. It's a little overexposed, but it's worth it to shoot these Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom fireworks. This is a shot that I tried last year here at the Magic Kingdom on the Dumbo ride, uh, photographing the elephant behind me with a somewhat long shutter speed, trying to get the elephant sharp and a little bit of a streaky background. And I don't know if I got a good one or not, but if I did, we'll see that now. Here is the Dumbo blur. I ended up going with 1 15th of a second shutter speed. Maybe I should have gone with a little bit longer shutter speed, but while the Dumbos are out there on the end of those rods, they're kind of bouncing along and it's really hard to get them sharp at much longer than 1 15th. So 1 15th is what I went with and I hope you like it. I tried doing some panning blurs here at the Walt Disney World carousel and I think a couple of them turned out kind of cool. I love the way this carousel blur turned out. I was using the ultra wide 10 millimeters, 16 millimeters full frame equivalent just right on the railing as the ride was going by. And you know, it's in a circle. So everything is moving and only the horse is in focus. I really like the way this turned out. It looks kind of trippy. All right, it has been a great day here at the Magic Kingdom. My family and I have been here for about 14 and a half hours. And this place still isn't closed, but we are heading out after we do just a little bit of shopping. We hope you enjoyed what we shared with you in terms of photography. And if you did enjoy it, maybe a thumbs up would be the way to go. And also, if you want to see some more stuff like this, all sorts of photography, not just theme park photography, uh, subscribe, hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom Theme Park.